Hello, my lovely followers. Imagine transforming your image generation workflow with pinpoint accuracy, creating art that not only stands out, but feels almost alive. Today, I'll show you how to unlock the potential of Flux Region's spatial control and reveal a game changing technique that will elevate your results to the next level. Stick around until the end, where I'll share an advanced tip that could completely change how you use this tool. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to stay updated with more tutorials like this. Let's make your creative journey extraordinary. Before we start, check the requirements. To run this workflow, you'll need the following comfy UI nodes. Impact Pack for the INT Noda. RG3 F for the display, any Noda. Control Alt A nodes F for spatial flux control and sampling. Python Gossus zip for the show text node. Ensure Comfy UI is updated to the latest version. This workflow requires PyTorch 2.51 or later with CUDA 12.4 or later. Python 3.0 or later. Important if you need to update Python or PyTorch back up your existing Comfy UI installation first. The Flux Attention Control node uses Xformers for optimization. Incompatible Python, PyTorch, or QDA versions will prevent Xformers from working correctly, causing issues with masking. Checking Xformers. Open a command prompt in your Comfy UI environment and run the following commands Python. Ever struggled with creating complex images with precise masks for your regions, only to end up with inven or inaccurate results? I've been there, spending hours manually tweaking prompts just to make it look right. The region generator and processor group simplifies this process with three powerful nodes, the integer generator, region mask generator and region mask processor. Here's how it works. The integer generator's impactor NT defines the number of regions to mask. For example, set INT to two and the region mask generator creates two distinct masks, one red, one green. Masks are displayed in preview nodes and a region mask processor fine tunes details like blur radius, threshold and feather edges. Check out this preview. Two distinct mask areas on the canvas. Fully customizable for your project needs. But what happens if these masks overlap? Let's address that in the next step. Overlapping masks can cause image deformations, a common headache for many creators. I've seen perfect designs ruined by bleeding between regions. The Region Validator group uses a Region Mask Validator node to detect and quantify mask bleeding. Any overlap is displayed in the Display Any Rig3 nodes, showing the percentage of bleeding. This allows you to fix issues early and ensure smooth results. An example. In this demo, overlapping regions were detected with 15% bleeding easily corrected with a few adjustments. With the regions validated, let's dive into the core of Flux's power, the model itself. Using a general diffusion model can feel limiting, especially when working with multiple regions. And achieving detailed control over each region felt impossible until now. The Flux core group integrates the Flux diffusion model, clips, and LoRa's for unprecedented control. The LoRa loader stack supports multiple LoRa's and future updates promise even more flexibility, allowing individual LoRa's for each region. Combine this with an empty latent image node for initializing your creative space. Here's a sneak peek at an intricate design created with Flux and LoRa's working seamlessly. Now, let's supercharge your prompts in the next step. Generic prompts often lead to generic results. How do you make each region stand out? Balancing detail and focus across regions is tricky, especially when working with complex compositions. The region conditioning group allows precise control over prompts. Use for text 
to clip notice. One for the overall scene and three for individual mask areas. Set guidance to 1.0 and connect prompts to the region mask conditioning node to control emphasis. Adjust the strength of each region for targeted creative focus. Don example, in this image, the main subject is emphasized with higher strength while the background remains subtle. With regions conditioned, it's time to refine attention control for flawless results. Without proper attention control, your image might miss key details. I used to rely on trial and error to achieve the right balance, a frustrating and time-consuming process. The Flux Attention Control Group focuses attention where it matters most. A flux guidance node set to 2.5 ensures balanced control. The Flux Attention Control node consolidates regions, prompts, and models, readying them for the sampling phase. Error example. Notice how the flux guidance node enhances clarity in this example. Or the final step is where the magic happens. Let's generate our masterpiece. Sampling without optimization can result in subpar images or memory issues. I've lost hours to inefficient sampling workflows. The flux sampling and clean up group ensures seamless image generation. Use flux sampling nodes with DP MPP's ancestral sampler and normal scheduler for the best results. The region overlay visualizer shows mask influence areas on the final image. The flux attention cleanup node preserves workflow memory for future sessions. Ready to take your creations even further. Let's wrap this up with a key takeaway. You've just learned how to master flux region spatial control. From generating precise masks to creating attention, focused, optimized designs. By integrating these techniques, you can elevate your creative projects, unlocking a whole new level of precision and artistry. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more advanced tutorials. And if you want exclusive tips, join our Patreon community today. Let me know in the comments, which step do you think will make the biggest difference in your workflow? I can't wait to see what you create.